Good morning, children. How are you all? Today we are going to learn a lesson of sources of water. Sources of water means from where we get water. In the first lesson, you learned about uses of water. But you know, from where do we get water? Can you tell me some things from where you get water? So now first thing, let me tell you. We get water from rain. So many times you might have seen water coming from the sky. That is rain. When it is raining, you take an umbrella, you take an uh, raincoat and go around. But that is an important thing is we get water from the rain. So then we also get water from seawater. Though seawater is salty, we get water from sea. There is, you might have not seen a sea. When you get a chance to go and see, it's a big lake-like thing. You might have not seen them, but you should see or check, see in the internet or in the pictures. You check them, you will see big sea. That is a lot of water, sea water. Then next is river, river water. This is also a source of, source means from where we get water, from place. Now in your house, you might open a tap and you get water. But from the, to get the water into the tap, you have a tank on the top of your house. Into the tank, from where do you get water? So whatever the water we get from rain, whatever we get with water from rivers, we store it in tanks, big, big dams, and they pump it to us, which we, you keep, you use it every day. So river is also one source of water. Wells, wells you might have seen, or uh, lake. You might have seen a lake that is a small lake. You may, even in your campus, there is small uh, area. It's not, it's not a lake, but a small water bed is there, which you can see where water is standing. That is also a lake. From lakes also, we can get water. We have a Manjira Lake in, uh, in uh, Telangana from where we get our drinking water. And there is a dam in Gandipet Dam. That also you can see where the water is stored. Now this is a well. This you might have not seen because nowadays there are no wells, but still wells are there in villages. People try to pull the water with the hand. This is also one source of water. They, they dig a big hole into the ground where you get the water. Now you can see the dam water. See the water is stored in a tank and once in a while they leave the water like this. So then the water comes to us. This water we use for our crops, also for our drinking purposes. So from dam we get the water. Again, shall I tell you the sources of water from where we get? We get from rain, we get from sea, we get from lakes, we get from rivers, we get from wells and the water is stored in the dams. So, okay, children. So, first lesson you have studied about uses of water. But uses of water, this water, from where do we get, that is more important. So, you should try to find out. If you get a chance, go and see from where do you get. You, you ask your parents to take you to Gandipet, where you can see a dam and also water in that. And also a lake nearby or a small water body, or if you can get a chance to see a well in your villages, you should go and see. These are the sources of water. Rain, you might have seen because when it is raining, you play in the water, but what we get water from the, through rain. This rain water is also stored. Okay, children, so you are going to learn about this sources of water. I will send you the worksheets, which you are going to do it for your assignment and send it to me. Okay, children, have a good day.